there is no reason for us to play to the gallery or to pretend that we are holier than others. We should not ignite violence. No, I don't, I don't think there's anybody who is just it. Is for I us think you are on the right track. Round it up Nobody is going to yeah. ask everybody yeah. to maintain peace and order while we go through this process and finish it yeah. properly. Mr. President, most of us here, apart from a few of us who didn't contest elections, cannot sit in judgment in what is happening in Nigeria today. And we cannot interpret the law because we are not the judiciary. Mr. President, all, like you rightly pointed out, if we have to say anything at all, we should just appeal to Nigerians for calm. While the proper thing is done. And ANEC has to do the proper thing. Nobody can come here and tell us that the, BV, um, um, the Beavers machine was not supposed to transmit results. It was supposed to transmit results direct, supported with a photograph of the result. And there is no way you can collate results without having your Beavers total in your server. In every uh, collation point in Nigeria, there is a technology person that is stationed in the, in the collations and, uh, 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 collation center whose responsibility is to make sure that the beavers numbers tally with the result numbers. And so if INEX sits down here and is reporting results without tallying it with the numbers in the VS, it's wrong. As a, a parliament and, a, and the, the, the upper parliament in this uh, national assembly, it is our duty to stabilize the polity by the pronouncements we make in the parliament to calm the nerves, the frayed nerves of people that are agitated one way or the other as, 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 as a result of the last election that just happened on 25th uh, uh, February. We are not here to uh, make incendiary remarks here that will cause any disease. We are here to appeal to our people to uh, follow the law. And we're asking all the agencies of government that are also involved in this election hearing to also ensure that they follow strictly sensu or what the law stipulates, both the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, both the Electoral Act uh, uh, of 2022 amended, and the law. That's all we are saying here. So that the elections at the end of the day will come out of it. Anyway, what it must come, once you go for election, it must go either one way or the other. And anywhere it goes, that it doesn't. We have opportunity to go to law courts, the tribunal, to canvas and ensure that we right the wrongs. There are just three issues on this. One, accreditation and verification to be done by the Beavers. And in that case, it's real time. How is it real time? When you accredite, every time there is, maybe after getting like 20, 30 names, it's sent back to the back end server. That is done clearly which is completely different from where an election results. Election results, we are not voting electronically for that real-time effect of transfer to happen or transmission to happen. Transmission can only happen in the case of results after it has been published on the Vibas. How is it published? Like you having your phone and taking a picture and then sent. So it's not real-time. It's not real-time. It's publishing. It's publishing. It's... Uh, is, but, but it has been uploaded. It has uploaded automatically. It's there in the back end of the server. Wait now, you want clarification and you're arguing. You want clarification and you're arguing. What are you arguing for? What are you arguing for? You want clarification. If you're not convinced with the clarification, go to court. Eh? Your Excellency. Please, uh, Senator Demi, you just walked in. Please. Your Excellency, listen, listen to what is happening. Your Excellency, we, we know that we are not we are not in court to interpret what we have passed as a law. We have already passed that as a law. We are not in court to interpret. But INEC has the responsibility to give out a guideline. And they have not breached anything in the guideline. What I'm saying is that it's a simple process. And that process, after publishing, they send it to back-end servers. And when it is in, at the back-end servers of the INEC, it is at that point that INEC can decide now to publish it and trans I mean, put it on the IREP or not. And if they don't put it on the IREP, from what we have read so far, INEC have been attacked 160 times. 160 times. And nobody's making any, any issue about that. The Senate 
should not involve itself in even the call for calm. Time has not come. Please, you should remember, the elections have come, and in fact they have gone. And you know, whatever happens at the coalition centers and the social media, we should not, the Senate should not involve itself. Not to talk about asking members, senators, to interpret the law. Our job has been done and finished with. We passed the Electoral Act. You said it yourself. And for goodness sake, if we don't step down this thing, there will be endless controversy on party lines. And God knows. what it will generate in the public domain. Even before the motion is being moved, you can see the controversy. People are interpreting it along party lines. The best way is to step down this act because let's not lean on INEC in, 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 in doing their job. Let's not lean on them in any way. Let's just step it down because it, if in, on this floor is generating this kind of controversy, imagine what will happen out there when the motion is passed. Even if it's advice, people will misinterpret it. In its resolution, the Senate urges the Independence National Electoral Commission to abide by the dictates of the law guiding the collation and announcement of results and appeals to all political actors, electorates and Nigerians to remain calm and law-abiding. The day is commencement of... Meanwhile, in the House of Representatives, the Speaker is calling for resistance to those seeking to exploit this moment of tension for their own ends. Expressing his opinion during the resumption of plenary in the lower chamber, the Speaker is optimistic that the country will be at peace in the end. We will defeat the cynicism of those waiting to see their worst predictions for our country become real. Nigeria will be at peace because we will work through the law and due process to resolve differences, settle disputes, and ensure the peaceful transition of power. In the meantime, the Speaker says the work of governance continues in the House of Representatives as the Ninth Assembly winds down, and that the House will also begin to prepare transition notes at the committee levels as earlier proposed. You're welcome back to the gavel. Now, some Nigerians are still pondering over the results of the presidential and national assembly elections, while states are preparing for the governorship elections. Now, the 2022 Electoral Act was critical in the just concluded presidential and national assembly elections, as the legislation was expected to guide the electoral process. Now, some may have forgotten how tense and difficult the process in passing the legislation and the role state and non-state actors play in seeing the passage of the important bill. In this report, we look back at the journey to the passage of the 2022 Electoral Bill. The Electoral Act Amendment Bill was one of the most polarizing pieces of legislation in the Ninth Assembly. Many Nigerians yearned for the passage of this bill, believing it will sanitize elections, which have been overwhelmed with violence, ballot box snatching, underage voting, and cash for votes. The journey to the passage of the Electoral Act Bill in the 9th Assembly was full of intrigue, fraught with tension, and a high-stakes endeavor. The 9th National Assembly had promised to amend the Electoral Act as part of its legislative agenda. In 2020, the Senate and House of Representatives Committees on INEC kick-started the process, calling for input from the public and civil society organizations on the bill. After several meetings and consultations between the Joint Committee and state and non-state actors, a report on the bill was finally prepared and presented in both houses for passage. <laughs> but on the day scheduled for passage in both houses, Clause 52, Subsection 3, on electronic transmission of results, caused a huge strain, setting lawmakers from the ruling party against their colleagues in the opposition party. Section 52, Subsection 3 of the report in the Senate stated that the Commission may transmit results from elections by electronic means where and when practicable. But an amendment to the clause caused a rift among lawmakers, causing a division. But an amendment to the clause caused a rift among lawmakers, leading to a division. Mr. President, I would like to amend Clause 52, 3. And I would like, like to amend as follows. The Commission may consider electronic transmission of results provided the national network coverage is adjudged to be adequate and secure by the National Communication Commission and approved by the National Assembly. This is my amendment. 
Mr. President, I still insist. We want Nigerians to know who has voted or not. The votes were cast, counted, and the majority voted to amend Clause 52 by empowering the Nigerian National Communications Commission to determine the use of electronic means to transmit election results. So if you think we should retain what is here, you will vote yes. If you think what we have passed before the amendment of Senator Sadi, then you vote against this one. Is that clear? Okay, I'll put the question. And the amendment, please, for the avoidance of doubt. For the, word, for the avoidance of doubt, the way it is written here is the commission may transmit results of elections by electronic means where and when practical. This is the amendment. So if you don't want it, I will put the question now. Those in favor that clause 52.3 as amended by Senator Abbasi Akpan, say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The nay is having. The consideration of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, particularly Clause 52, was more acrimonious in the House, prompting the Speaker to invite the Nigerian Communications Commission and the Electoral Umpire, INEC, to speak on their preparedness to transmit election results electronically. It's only 3G that could give that kind of cover, I mean, that could give that kind of transmission. Okay. Uh, in full, I mean. Okay, so yes. only 3G yes. can adequately... Um, um, Transmit, Transmit. Yes, uh, only 3G. Yes, the station, the polling units that fell under 3G coverage. Let's just say the stations that had 3G coverage came to about 50 percent. The House eventually passed the bill and retained Clause 52, which empowers INEC to decide the best means to transmit election results. But three months later, on October 12, 2021, the Senate made a U-turn and gave INEC free reign to determine the procedure of transmission of results during elections. Voting at an election and transmission of results under this bill shall be in accordance with the procedure determined by the Commission. Those in favor of Clause 52 as amended, say aye. aye. Those against, say nay. Aye, aye. But on 21st December 2021, President Buhari wrote to the National Assembly.